Uh, and if it's infected, you want to keep that inside uh, the scar tissue around the implant itself. If it's got recurrent cancer, you got to send all these things off to make sure that's not the case for the patients, of course. And at a week, she didn't have uh, any recurrent cancer on her uh, screen for that, which is the pathology report. Uh, but on the report to look for an infection, she did. She had an E. coli infection. Ooh. And so my sister, who recently passed away uh, after a long bout with breast cancer and recurrences and things, I would have been supremely pissed off if someone had missed that mm -hmm. on my sister. Mm -hmm. So I went back through all of my records and notes and, and no indication of this. And this kind of goes to the uh, limitation of this. So if someone has an implant that actually has bacteria around it, we have no way of knowing that. Really? So there's no scans or anything that can detect? No, if it's not frankly infected, like you don't show up and you have red skin or swelling or, or something that tip us off that will show up on a diagnostic study, there's no way to really alert you that there's underlying chronic infection. 